Good morning, everybody out there in the world of the internet. I hope y'all are having a healthy and safe day. I wanted to give like a update on the situation that has come down here in Florida. I mean, this stuff has gone completely exponential from what I figured it would have done. Uh, this this crisis has just reached a totally another level. I mean, like as of like today, this time. Um, the beaches are closed, the bars downtown are closed, it's takeout only for most of the restaurants. Baseball season is nixed, uh, the Wahoos baseball is not going down it as of right now. I'm down here on Palafox Street here in Pensacola and this is easily like a bustling place. I've gone to a few of the restaurants, all of them are closed. Like the, they just got signs on the door that says, sorry we're closed until further notice pretty sad. You can't eat anything to drink, eat, nothing on what is the strip here in Pensacola. World of Beer's closed too. Gotta go all the way around. They got the little sidewalk chalk. I'm not saying where you can go and get stuff, but pretty much it's carry out only if they are open anywhere. Tax collectors closed, which is like right there. Permitting department, the whole nine yards. This is wild. Holy cow, dude just lost his trailer. That's nuts. I never thought this would happen, and I'm gonna go stir crazy if this just keeps going on. There's no gym, can't fish really, unless it's in the backyard here in the bay, cause you can't go to, like off the beach. Um, they have closed fishing in Washington. Comment down below if I'm wrong on that. And so for the time being, there's no kayak videos, there's no fishing videos, there's nothing really going on that's gonna be crazy fun. Samantha, not a good idea. Oh, He's at the very end, he's about to be back on land. It's uh, <laughs> this is a situation, don't mean to laugh, I mean to take this serious, but at the same time. Uh, it's kind of a predicament. Samantha ordered a live plant. This is gonna be intense. Tell them, Samantha. We ordered a Venus flytrap. Woo, so excited. Be gentle. Really excited. What? It's a raptor. It's like... It's a crush? Is it alive? No, it's alive. It's Ooh. wet. It's wet? Okay. Hopefully it survives. What are we gonna name him? What's naming Fred? How do you do this? Don't judge us. We didn't read the directions. They didn't come. Oh, here's the directions. <laughs> All right, save Fred. Is that what we're calling him? Fred. What about Edward, as in scissor hands? <laughs> that movie always scared me as a kid, but I love it so much. Edward. Edward. <laughs> Maybe Eddie. Eddie. This is Eddie because he's kind of cool. Wow, that's freaky looking. You know how wow, Navy... look how many heads it has on it. Wow, Navy Point is terrible with flies. So it's like Attack of the Killer Flies in Navy Point during the summer. So we thought this would be a cool idea. It's not gonna snap at me, will it? Oh, no, I'm so confused. Can we feed him something? Can we feed him something? Yeah, find a fly. So everybody I know is practicing social distancing. That is the word now and we've been trying to do it as much as possible. Most of my friends work in healthcare, so that means everybody's pretty cognitive of kind of washing their hands and uh, touching things, going places, and kind of like thinking about that. But as of right now, I think there's been like maybe 17 cases in Escambia County. Nobody I know has been affected, like has come down with the virus. So um, we're all trying to stay really cognitive about you know, making sure we're doing the right stuff. The historical part about this is I went to Walmart to check out what the meat aisle really looked like. Check this toilet paper aisle out, holy cow. Because I've been seeing all these pictures of things being wiped out. Me and Samantha try to stay pretty stocked up on stuff. So we're good for about a month. I got plenty of barbecue meat and charcoal for the grill. And it was true, they were really wiped out. This is the lunch meat aisle, no lunch meat. 
<laughs> no toilet paper. Check out down there. Cleaner aisle. I just came for the beer. It's always blown me away of what people actually buy when there's a catastrophe. Lunch needs, milk, bread, all the things. Check out this bad boy. Is this like a cop replacement? It's like where you can rent a cop for a day. That's pretty nuts. It's a full set of cameras on some solar panels. It says rent a cop. <laughs> <laughs> a cop for a day. So next I had to go to the gun stores and see like how much ammo was really left. All the freedom rounds were gone. 5.56, five, 9mm, and 7.62, which, you know, I don't, I don't have an AR or an AK-47, but I do got 12 gauge and my 22 long rifle. Squirrels know me. But this really got me and Samantha cognitive on like maybe, you know, growing a garden and stuff like that. So we decided to build a humongous raised bed and that's the Blue Angels heating up over there, if you can hear it. Uh, yeah, they, they go down today. They're back practicing. We created this. We went ahead and replanted our raised garden. What are you doing, Samantha? Playing the garden. Woo! Put another one here. Yeah, we moved it. We're getting another one. So we've got three of these, and then we're building a nine-footer over here. So that should be just about everything we need to pretty much self-sustain. Gotta think about this stuff nowadays. Walmart was blistered for a while. Commissary was blistered. So we had to start thinking about, you know, what ifs, what ifs. So at least I built my wall, the perimeter's secure. But as far as craziness, the only thing that's really big, besides everything closing down, don't get me past about that, I can't get a beer and I'm not happy about that. But. Branch boats got stolen, if you check that video out. I'm not sure if they're gonna lock down Florida itself. They're kind of doing it by county right now. And uh, we'll see, if they do that, then we'll be pretty much stuck at home. And uh, I don't even know if they'll let me go down here in our backyard that we have a county park that goes all the way around the house with waterfront. So like you gotta go through county property to get to like the water. So technically, they could shut that down too. All the fountains have been shut down. They got the little COVID stickers on them. And then the boat ramp, which we have one of the biggest boat ramps or like the most populated used boat ramp closest to the pass here in our neighborhood, they could shut that down too. And if they shut down fishing in general, well, I don't even know what to do with that because that could happen if they're doing it in Washington. A lot of people in Miami are getting heated up. You guys down there in Miami Day, comment down below if y'all got shut down. But this is like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I hope everybody stays healthy and does your social distancing. Use your hand sanitizer. It's all I can really say because deployed, I used it for everything. And hopefully that stuff keeps working against this virus. But I'm not sure what's gonna happen when we get done with social distancing. Um, will, the, will the virus just spike back up? And that's what I think will happen, is when everybody comes out of containment, what's left of the virus, we'll start getting touched with everybody else with the virus, and then we'll be back in the same scenario. So if you follow me on, on my personal page, you'll know I've been pretty furious about the stimulus bill. If you do the math of $1,200 for everybody making under $75,000, adds up to about $500 billion. National rent is like 1,200 bucks. Congratulations, you get to pay your rent for one month and then get taxed on it. Mind blown. And it makes me wonder what is gonna happen with the other 1.5 trillion. All the pork that was stuffed in that bill, me and you are gonna be funding, taxed on in the future when they raise taxes, cause you know they will, to say they had to fund this, they're gonna raise taxes on us to pay for that bill. And if you look what's in the bill, go read it to where the money's going. For the working class, we're literally getting a taxable $1,200 check. Like you're gonna pay that back. Like, don't think it's free. It's gonna come off your next year's tax returns, guaranteed. This is like one of the biggest, in my opinion, uh, con jobs over our feelings because we know now 
when they say pay your fair share, we're worth 1200 taxable dollars. And that just infuriates me. I think everybody, because we were told we had to shut down, everybody with a small business was not able to go work and we still had to pay taxes on property, maintain equipment. We had to pay insurance premiums, workers comp, and all the things it takes a small business owner to have to do, we still have to pay for. You can suspend mortgages and rents and evictions all you want, but I still have to pay property tax on my property. I still have to pay for the insurance, the legal fees, the maintenance, the you know all the repair, the management, all that stuff I still have to pay for even if they don't allow or they don't make people pay their rent. That just blows my mind, which I think in this time period, we all gotta kinda maybe take a pause for like the humanity in it, but the amount of money we're gonna have to, we're gonna foot the bill for this $2 trillion, I can guarantee you. And uh, by the time we get that 1200 bucks, it's gonna be like lit on fire. Just kind of venting here to you guys. Comment down below if you agree with me or don't. Uh, this is just kind of where my mind is on this whole thing. Hope everybody stays safe. We work through this, figure this out. I think we gotta kind of get rid of left and right and center and then just kind of unite and figure this out for the sake of all of us because everybody here on this planet is almost in the same situation in one factor or another. You're either stuck somewhere or you, you, know, you can't travel, you can't go to work, you can't make money, you can't, you're like we're physically, we can't do anything. And that's probably the most frustrating thing ever. That and not being able to go to the gym. I don't know. I think that's the end of this vlog, guys. That's all I really got. Wanted to come talk to y'all, get your opinions on whether you think this stimulus bill was good or bad or does it affect you or, um, does it help you or will it help you or do you think it like with me that this was like not even a drop in the bucket and mostly a slap in the face to everybody on the, in the country you know with what else they're spending this bill on go look at what else they're spending this bill on like it's <sighs> crazy see you guys later